You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful with the collectors and with you. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill. And unfortunately, it looks like we have not done the missions in the correct order. Because I am now being summoned to speak to the elusive man. And what I should have done was like main missions, uh, you know, doing the dossiers. Or doing the loyalty missions. Instead, I did side missions for the Blue Suns. And I didn't know that they counted toward the... I think there's five missions that you can do um, after you start the second act. And then you get summoned by the elusive man. So, I have not been able to level up Shepard as I would like to for what is to come. So, let's just talk to Yeoman Chambers. Bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with them. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Uh, let's ask about the crew. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Tally seems very distraught after oh, receiving boy. a message. Tally too. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Okay, well, I thought she had the said... The man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Yeah, that's what I thought she said. Um, let's see what this message is. Javelin Mark II missile launch detected. Oh, boy, this is like, like another um, side mission. Planet of Origin Franklin Sepsis System Sigurd's Cradle. Distress beacon activated. Message to follow. The Alliance colony on planet Franklin is under attack by Batarian radicals. The terrorists took control of a nearby Javelin missile base and have launched two missiles at the human colony. Total destruction of colony is imminent. Zero probability of survivors if missiles strike. The kill switches for the missiles are inside the base and under heavy guard by Batarian fighters. Alliance forces are overwhelmed, losing this colony. The first of its size in this sector would be a devastating setback to Alliance expansion in the Terminus system. Requesting immediate assistance. It could happen to you. This is interesting. This this Drell thing. Apparent. And it's a shame that nothing ever became of this, but the Keprel syndrome. Um... Yeah, I, I'm not going to read through this, but anyhow. Concerns re-keepers. Oh, this is Shorbin from uh, the first Mass Effect. I hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything, and this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out the keepers are bioengineered. And based on my comparisons to some of that material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by the Protheans. It may have been made by something far older, with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they are supposed to react to something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the drought years. Whoever did this, well, around the last time this signal went off would be around the time the Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. Alright, so we got... 
somebody wising up to what the keepers are all about. We have a javelin missile attack in progress. But I have to go and talk to the elusive man because I'm sure I cannot use the galaxy map. Plans, See? Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. All right. So we are being hijacked. The game is going to take us to where it wants us to go. So let's go talk to the elusive man. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Let's ask him how he heard about this. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Let's ask if the Turians are investigating. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Let's ask how the Turians disabled the collector ship. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. All right. He'll check it out. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Alright, so we no longer have choice, as this game is renowned for. Uh, we do have to go and board the collector ship. And I'm not ready. I haven't nearly leveled up enough. Okay, well... Hmm. I'm gonna go with Cerberus, because, I mean, their biotic combos are... They're, they're what I need. Let's go. Alright, I think we're going to give Shepard another point in Barrier. He's going to need all the ability or protection that he can get. Alright, Miranda we're going to give Warp to. Uh, Jacob? I don't know, is strengthening your incendiary ammo, would that help? Might as well. Okay, so Shepard has Locust. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're ready. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck.
weirdest looking ship I've ever seen. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. All right, Cerberus, this is what you signed up for. Let's go. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The colonists might be on board, if they're still alive. Okay, so we found the collector ship. Let's see if we can find the colonists. These are the same containers the collectors used on Horizon. Only these are empty. Can't imagine that. Trapped in there at the mercy of the collectors. Alright, come on you two. I feel like I should have brought everybody from the Normandy on this mission. Scene. Let's put our barriers on. Bodies just left here. They're just things to the collectors. They could have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. Yeah, we can't help them now. They're dead. Nothing we can do. Keep moving. Oh, we got two renegade for that. But yeah, this this effect with putting on barriers or any type of shield power was so cool in this game in Mass Effect 2 and then you could you know play a cutscene and you get to see th this cool effect this is well I think in the first game it kinda did this a little bit but barrier really wasn't really that cool looking it was very distorted and warped and whatnot but it's really a shame that they didn't continue this throughout with Mass Effect 3 because you, you lost this ability to start the cutscenes and have on a barrier or fortification or gas shield boost. But really cool looking effects. Look at this, collector technology. Alright, so credits, which we can always use. Some med kit. Okay, I think we have another cutscene coming up. Barriers up. The collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Why? Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure the Protheans. But they're extinct. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. I can't believe the species still exists. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. Are you sure? You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Mm, they'd be better off dead. I wouldn't want to live as some kind of mutated slave. Killing a collector is probably doing it a favor. Whatever they used to be, the collectors work for the Reapers now. And we still have to stop them. They're not doing to us what they did to the Protheans. 
Let's find what we need before the collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. All right, and here is where we get a weapon specialization. And if you are a non-soldier class, this is your opportunity to get an assault rifle. Say you're an engineer or an adept, like this shepherd is. You could also get shotgun training or sniper rifle training. Now, my shepherd from the first game had assault rifle training, and we're going to get it again now. All right, so I think they gave me a lame gun. I think there might be a weapon rack up here somewhere. All right, power cells. We're full on those. Some element zero. Or maybe I'm not going to get a weapon rack. I don't see anything. On the ceiling, more pods. There must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. I think I've got... I'm carrying the Vindicator battle rifle, which has burst fire, which I don't like, but anyhow. Here's some collector technology. Wow, look at the credits we're being given. game has been holding out on us. Um, was there something back here? Alright, I don't think so. Control terminal access. This is valuable. Damage protection. Excellent. Alright, anything else? I think we might need a save in here somewhere. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked EA to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. The hell? They could take every human in the Terminus systems and not have enough to fill these pods. Earth. They have to be after Earth. Not if we stop them. So I think they're talking about these things up here in the ceiling are pods, or are they talking about these pods down here, where we are? Oh, well, maybe this entire room, this cavern, is filled with pods. With humans. There, on the platform, control panel. Where are the bodies of the Collector crew? Careful, Shepard. Something doesn't feel right about this. Alright, we're putting up our barriers. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Can't be good. Status report. Status report. What the hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. 
now you think it's a trap? This was the eeriest sound I have ever heard in video games. We need a little help here, Edie. I'm having trouble maintaining connection. There's someone else in the system. Miranda, are you all right? That's it, Jacob. Help her up. Because we are in some serious trouble. Connection reestablished. I need to finish the download before I can override any systems. Then you'd better get it done fast, Dee Dee. We've got company. Enemies in front! Alright, Jacob. Full field. Come on out! One left! Miranda. Target the Scion with war. Come on, speed it up. You will not stop me. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I... Miranda, war. I will. Take a pull. Miranda War. I need some ammo. Reclaiming Singularity. Okay, there has to be more ammo that dropped. Come on now. You've got to be kidding me. One. Shepard, you must manually reassess. Yes, my yes, I know, console. Edie. But there, we have no ammo. Power cells. Okay, well this is gonna be fun. How, what, do I still have, yes, I do still have the submachine gun, okay. So we may have to use that. Huh. Shepard, you must manually reestablish my link to the command console. Edie, I know. Alright, let's put up some barriers. I think we've got a cutscene here. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. Hmm. About time. I thought we were gonna have to take on every damn collector here. Perhaps you should consider upgrading my hardware. Did you get what we needed? 
I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Why? What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? Because he betrayed us. That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. It doesn't make sense for Cerberus to sell us out. It just doesn't. There has to be some other explanation. The elusive man wouldn't do this to us. He... he just wouldn't. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. All right, we got some renegade from that. Uh, I guess we're going this way. Come on, people. time okay come on let's go let's check to make sure that nothing is here that we possibly use I think we're good Alright, we 
got it. Alright, let's make sure we get any ammo. Well, I'm the only one, I guess, that needs it, right? I guess they're really expecting people to use heavy weapons against these uh, creatures. I'm opening a door on the far side of the room. Nothing's gonna oh, hurt me now. A Praetorian. some attack power cells. Work. Yes, the attack did work, Miranda. He's dead. Alright, let's get out of here. Needy, we've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands through firewall 7164.
cigars. Got him, though. Whoa, whoa. Singularity out. Alright, looks like we got him. Scion. have been prepared, but hey, we're making the best of it. Yes, yes. Everybody's still alive. Come on. All right, I think we've got everything. We're out of time, Commander. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody onto the Normandy. Move.
right. Mission summary. Gathered vital intel regarding collectors and Omega-4 Relay with Shepard's escape. Harbinger knows our true capabilities and will have to adapt or adopt new tactics. We'll have to be careful as Harbinger's information network may rival Cerberus or the Shadow Brokers. Also appears impossible to block his ability to possess minions. Edie's work was exceptional. However, proving proving value of shackled AI. Okay. All right, so we got assault rifle training. We got damage protection, 30% bonus to shields, barriers, and armor. Tech damage. Yes. Not that Shepard needs it. Wow, 75,000 credits. And a measly 250 element zero. All right, that's it. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Mm -hmm. What the hell is going on? Cut the act. You set us up, and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. Hmm. You invested in me. Why lie? You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. Never again. You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the Collectors, and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. Hmm, a little late, don't you think? I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Hmm, let's ask about disabling a reaper. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Let's ask about the brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. Let's ask about another derelict ship. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, 
I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector data banks. Necessary risk. Hmm. I still don't like it. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Hmm, it has to be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. Hmm, Sovereign did. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Alright, so here we have a choice, possibly pivotal, to go get the IFF, but we do need to build our team because I need to level up Shepard. I am not going into this as unprepared as I just was. So let's go build our team. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Exactly. All right. Uh, well, I hope this isn't a Paragon choice, but we're sticking with building a team. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Alright, so this will buy me some time to continue to level up my character. Ooh, 13 Renegade, 5 Paragon, damage protection, and tech damage. Let's go ahead. Can I, okay, I thought, oh my god, am I locked in here? Is the elusive man keeping me from getting on, onto the different parts of the ship? Anyhow, what have we got here? Alright damage protection hard shield nice 30 plus 30 percent to shield barrier and armor okay hard shields that take 20 percent less damage and tech damage 40% tech power damage. Okay, is that... Looks like I need one more biotic uh, upgrade that will increase cooldowns. Alright, so this is where we are. And I am going to talk to Kelly one more time. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. I'm gonna. Uh, we'll go with Edie saved us. An AI on board is proving to be very useful. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? The crew. Is there anything I should know? 
Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Anything else, Commander? Oh, that's That'll all. be all. Yes, Commander. Okay, well... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. All right, thank you, Kelly. All right, well, that will do it. We have been on board the collector ship. We have gotten our assault rifle training. And we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to go upstairs and feed my fish since Yeoman Chambers isn't offering to do it for me. So until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out.